Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Thad Moffat's Performance Plus Motor Oil Ford from 2018. As always, take a quick look at the box. As you can see, this does have a special box with great box artwork. On the front of the box, you got the number 46, you got the Petty Swoosh, the Thad Moffat, Performance Plus Motor Oil, you got the Arca Racing Series logo. Down the side, you got Thad Moffat 46, you got to render the car right there, Performance Plus Motor Oil. Made a total of only 505 of these things. Moffat Motorsports, number 46, standard finish. Got the same stuff on the back of the box. On this side, you got 2018 Action Racing Collectibles. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Anyways, here is the car itself. A fantastic paint scheme. Got the black with the petty blue. Watch, this is another one of those kind of paint schemes where it looks like Petty made them change the color to fit the Petty Blue. Because, you know, Performance Plus Motor Oil's colors are black and yellow based on everything else they've been on. Like, you know, the, what was it, Dalton Sargent's truck and then the Roush cars with Trevor Bain and Greg Biffle and Matt Kenseth and all that. But it does lead for a really very nice paint scheme. Something about black mixed with the Petty Blue just really does work well together. And this is another ARCA release, so a lot of people are really hoping for a bunch more ARCA releases, so here's another team that's not Venturini. But anyways, let's do a quick 360 of this car. You might be noticing one reason why I bought this car, and that is something very, very unique on this diecast. But if you're a Petty fan, this is definitely the kind of car you're going to want to get because it does continue the whole number thing with Petty. I mean, the Petty number thing got messed up a little bit, but in general it was supposed to be number 42 is Lee Petty, 43 is Richard Petty, 44 is Kyle Petty, 45 is Adam Petty, and now 46 is Thad Moffat, because Thad Moffat is the grandson of Richard Petty. So if you're a person who collects a bunch of the Petty family, this is definitely one to kind of continue that whole number thing, which is really cool. Stikeast is a little bit inaccurate, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But for now, let's just get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Performance Plus Motor Oil. You got Ford Fusion, number 46. Down the side, you got Performance Plus Motor Oil. You've got Transportation Impact, Hostiller, and Bill Steen. In front of the rear wheel, you got Miller and Safety Clean. Nothing on the C post. And on the B post, you got Ford, Go Further, Petty Garage, Performance Plus Motor Oil, and not entirely sure what that one in the middle is. That white logo. Has your regular ARCA contingencies and such right there. On the back, you have Performance Plus Motor Oil, Allsco, number 46, and Ford. Back of the spoiler does actually have general tire, with the front of the spoiler having Menards, like the ARCA cars are supposed to. And they've gotten right on most of them beyond that, you know, Austin Terrio car we took a look at a while ago. Declan again is Performance Plus Motor Oil. This is number 396. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Let's take a look under the hood, which does not want to open, of course. Why would it? Why would a hood ever want to open? There we go. You see on the other side of the hood, it says powered by Ford. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. This is a full-on gold series release, so no trunk or roof flaps. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. What you haven't noticed by now, one of the things that's really unique about this car is it has a colored chassis. It's got that classic colored chassis in the petty blue color. The entire interior is petty blue. That is really funny that... I guess Arca still does allow colored interiors, but the fact that I was literally just talking about that a couple months ago about wanting more colored interiors, and suddenly we get a diecast that they actually do that on. Surprised Lionel even did that. The real car does have some petty blue on its interior, so it, it is accurate, but it's kind of funny. That seems like one of those things Petty would or, or Lionel would not do at all. <laughs> but that is really, really cool. You can see in there that everything is petty blue in there. <laughs> But anyways, as far as the inaccuracies go, this one's kind of half and half, but this car sometimes runs with black rims, but it sometimes also ran with petty blue rims. And I would have much rather seen the petty blue rims on the diecast, but it has run with black rims too, so it technically is still accurate. Another kind of interesting inaccuracy is that the real car does not have Ford or Fusion on it. I guess because maybe Petty switched to Chevy that this team, they didn't want to be, you know, advertising Petty and Ford anymore. Because this team isn't really Petty, it's just a team that Petty, like, associates with or whatever. But the real car is just blank, has nothing for it or Fusion. I don't know if that was because Lionel just needs to put the manufacturer logos on the cars or what, but it's worth pointing out. If you want this car just a brand new release, you can get it right now. I would not be surprised if this car gets rare. 
because it's just kind of one of those really random kind of almost a promo die cast based on the box and everything it's another arca car just a great car all around like i said if you're a petty fan this continues the whole petty family number thing so that is pretty much an entire reason to get it right there but just a great paint scheme Ted Moff really hasn't done much of anything. He's only had, like, I think he's had under 10 starts in Arca Series between 2017 and 2018. He's had a few different other paint schemes, too. He had one that was, like, solid petty blue with transportation impact, I think, and then he had some other sponsor. But I'm definitely glad they produced this car because I always thought this car looked kind of nice with the black and the petty blue. But anyways, I think that's pretty much all ours to say. This has been a review of Thad Moffitt's Performance Plus Motor Oils Ford. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.